the U.S. Department of Defense has delivered 24 International M1224 Max Pro Mine Resistant Ambush Protected MRAP, vehicles to Kenyan personnel deployed in Haiti as part of the ongoing Multinational Security Support MSS, mission. These vehicles join an existing fleet of 10 MRAPs previously provided by the United States to support the Haitian National Police HNP, in their efforts to restore security in areas plagued by gang violence. In addition to the vehicles, 34 overhead gunner protection kits, turrets, are also being transported. These will be installed by Department of Defense-funded contractors to enhance the tactical field of view and safety of MSS personnel engaged in joint security operations with the HNP. This delivery follows the signing of a presidential drawdown authority by President Joe Biden in April 2024, authorizing the transfer of U.S. federal resources to nations contributing personnel to the MSS mission. The MSS mission was launched in response to the escalating violence, political instability, and widespread gang activity that has overwhelmed Haiti since the assassination of President Jovenel Moise in 2021. The situation deteriorated further in early 2024, with gangs launching coordinated attacks on state infrastructure, including police stations, prisons, and essential public services like schools and health facilities. This surge in violence has resulted in over 2,500 casualties, numerous kidnappings, and the displacement of approximately 362,000 people, half of whom are children. The deteriorating security situation has also led to a humanitarian crisis, severely limiting access to basic services and increasing incidents of sexual violence and abuse. Given the Haitian National Police's limited resources and capacity to handle the crisis, the Haitian government requested international assistance. In response, the United Nations Security Council authorized the Multinational Security Support MSS, mission, led by Kenya with contributions from the United States, Canada, and several Caribbean and African nations. The mission aims to support the HNP, enhance security, protect key infrastructure, and help re-establish the rule of law in Haiti. The M1224 MAX Pro MRAP vehicles delivered to Haiti are specifically designed to protect military personnel from explosive threats, such as improvised explosive devices, IEDs, and mines. Developed by Navistar Defense in collaboration with the Israeli company Plazan Sasa, the MAX Pro was first introduced in 2007 in response to the need for better protected vehicles during the Iraq War. The vehicle's V-shaped hull, made of high-strength steel, is designed to deflect blasts away from the interior, improving occupant safety. The Max Pro is built on the International Workstar chassis and powered by a Max Force D9.3 i6 turbocharged diesel engine, generating 330 horsepower. Paired with an Allison 3000 Series 5-speed automatic transmission, the vehicle can reach speeds of up to 105 km per hour and has an approximate range of 965 km on a single tank, depending on terrain and payload. With a gross vehicle weight rating, GVWR, of up to 24,040 kg, the Max Pro can carry significant payloads, including personnel, cargo, and additional equipment. The vehicle's modular design includes several variants tailored for different missions, such as the Max Pro Dash, which is lighter and more maneuverable, and the Max Pro Recovery Vehicle, MRV, designed for towing and maintenance operations. The standard Max Pro model accommodates up to six occupants, offering blast-resistant seating with the option for additional armor packages. The vehicle is also equipped with communication and situational awareness systems, including satellite radios and battlefield management systems, and can be fitted with various weapon stations, such as a remote-controlled turret for a .50 caliber machine gun or a MK-19 automatic grenade launcher. The MSS mission, supported by the United Nations but operating independently of formal UN peacekeeping operations, has seen significant developments since its deployment began in June 2024. These include the resumption of commercial air traffic at Toussaint Louverture International Airport, public statements from Haiti's Prime Minister Gary Conil on efforts to restore security, the start of joint MSS and HNP patrols, the renewal of the U.S. Integration Office in Haiti's mandate, and the activation of a U.N. trust fund. The delivery of the Max Pro MRAPs and accompanying equipment underscores the U.S. commitment to supporting the MSS mission and addressing the complex security challenges in Haiti. The deployment of these vehicles, along with the continued provision of resources and support under the Presidential Drawdown Authority, is crucial for enhancing the operational capabilities of the MSS mission and ensuring the safety and effectiveness of its personnel as they work to restore stability and security in Haiti.